Live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that can attract somebody. Do you desire to be fruitful? The qualification for fruitfulness is that you must abide in him. As they cast him down, you will announce that their roots are lifting up. We, we started a journey in the book of First Samuel on Sunday, and they made a promise to us that we will continue from where we stopped. And today, from that same portion of the scripture, I want to take a title of captioned, I am looking for something. Help me, touch your neighbor, say I'm looking for something. Don't mind me when I cry. I'm looking for something. When you see me in tears, it's not as though I have lost hope, but I am looking for something. When you see me cry unto my father, it is because I'm looking for something. Help me tell your neighbor, say I'm looking for something. No, how many of us here are looking for something? You're looking for something. That's why you came. Many found it difficult to leave their businesses. Many found it difficult to leave their offices. But here you are because you're looking for something. And what you are looking for, the only person that can give it is God. Is that why you are here? The only person that can give it is who? Come on, let me hear you. Is who? Is that why you are here? One more time. Hala, I'm looking for something. First Samuel chapter 1. Let's pick it from there. First Samuel chapter 1. I'm going to read uh, verse number 8. First Samuel chapter 1, verse number 8. We had established uh, that at this time they were in Chilo. We had established uh, that at this time uh, Hannah was there and uh, Penina was there with her children. We had established on Sunday that portions were given to Penina and her children, both sons and daughters, as the Bible declared. We had also established that after portions were given to them, that a, a, a bigger and a larger and a better portion was given to Hannah because her husband loved her. But in all of those, we have also established that after she had received Received a better portion that Penina went up to her, insulted her, humiliated and annoyed her so much. So much so that she refused to eat what the husband gave to her. We established that and she went to the altar to pray. She went to the house of God. She entered the altar of God to pray. We had established that and she cried and she wept before the Lord. But this time around, I'm looking for something. That's why I'm crying. I'm shouting because I'm looking for something. I am shouting the way I'm doing not because the is something uh, that I'm yearning for. My soul is thirsty. My life uh, is in need. I have a need that only God uh, can give. And because of what I'm looking for, uh, I have refused to have peace. I have refused to rest. I have refused to cease crying unto God uh, because I'm looking for something. Uh, because I'm looking for something that is why I will not hold my peace uh, until I see Zion established. Uh, verse number 8. Then said Hannah, her husband to her, Hannah, 
Her husband Ekana said to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? In other words, why are you crying? Why are you weeping? I don't want somebody to pity me. I'm looking for something. I don't want somebody to pacify me. I'm looking for something. Let me get what I'm looking for. I am not looking for pity. I'm looking for solution. I'm not looking for anybody who will pity me in my condition. I'm looking up to the one who has solution to my problems. I came here to find solution. I didn't come to find pity. I came here to find the God of help. I didn't come to obtain the human mercy and pity. I did not come here for anybody to be passionate in my case. I came here that I may get solution from God. So she said, when her husband asked her, why, why weepest thou? Why are you weeping? And why it takes thou not? Her husband said, why did you refuse to eat? Why will I eat? I have been eating all these years. What did I get? I've been eating all these years. What has changed in my life? I've been to Chilo over and again. I've had portions once and again. And nothing has changed in my matter. Why will I keep eating and remaining in the same condition? I came in now that I may up something different I am not ready to pass through the same thing I am not ready to see the same thing I did not come for bread I did not come for water I came for solution I didn't come that any man would pity me husband don't ask me why I'm crying I'm crying because I'm looking for solution I'm crying because I'm looking for help I'm crying because I need God to step into my matter. I come to talk to a believer here now. You did not come here that anybody will pity you. You came here that God will give you a solution. If you are such a person, raise your voice and shout amen. You came here that God will give you a solution. Was that why you came? Talk to me now. Was that why you came? Did you come here to obtain mercy from God? Did you come here to get solution from him? Did you come here to get change in your life and family? If that is why you came, then he sent me for you. If you came that no man will pity you. If you came to see things walk the way they should. Uh, you are welcome. Uh, I am sent for you. But if you came in here. Uh, that man or woman should pity you. Uh, that everybody should rally around you in pity. Uh, I am sorry. Uh, you are in a wrong place. Uh, this is not a house of pity. This is a house of God. Her husband said to her, Why are you weeping? Help me, brother. Tell those who care to listen. I am not weeping because I got a problem. I am weeping that my God may hear me. I'm not weeping because I have no hope. I'm weeping that the God of my salvation might hacking unto me and bring me the solution that I need. Hannah was weeping unto the Lord. Hannah refused to be consoled. Hannah refused to eat what the husband gave to her. Hannah said, I must get my solution now. Hannah said, I must obtain mercy. I must obtain favor. Something must change in my life. Before I leave this chilo, there is somebody in this house. You will not leave this meeting until your condition change. You will not leave this place until something change. Come on, you will not walk out of this meeting until God answer your prayer. You will not walk out of this environment until God hear your prayer. You will not leave this place until God steps into
Toyomata. You will not get out of this house until God does something in your kids, until God works into your affairs, until God works into your family, until God works into your business, until God works into your kids. Somebody holla! I feel like passion is coming over me now. The power of God is in this place. The hand of God is moving around you. The power of the Almighty is all over your head. He sent me to declare. He sent me to say that it is time. He and your season. Your time has come. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I come to talk to you now. Your morning hour has come. Your season of joy is here. Your time to text somebody is here. I came to talk to you. Somebody's destiny is open. Somebody's future is open. I see a new dawn. I see a turnaround. I see God my salvation. I see help coming. I see the power of God flowing. I see the finger of God moving you. I see God in your face. I see the Lord changing things. I hear the sound of turn around. I hear the sound of lifting. I hear the sound of moving again. It's all over this building. It's moving from one person to another. I see God change the situation now. I see God change the conditions of me now. I don't know who you are, but your testimony is around. Somebody holla if you will. I see God step into your mouth. I see God take over your case. I see God say, Hold your peace. Your season of tears are over. You are in your season of joy. I don't know whom I'm talking to. Come on now. Come on now. You are in your season of joy. Come on now. Come on now. You are in your season of joy. Hey, you are your season of joy. When you see me cry in the sanctuary, it means I will not go to the mortuary. When you see me cry in the sanctuary, it means bitterness is over. It means pain is over. It means sickness is running away. It means disease is running away. It means affliction is on the road. Can somebody handle? If you can handle, I mean, it will be yours for the asking. If your amen is the loudest, somebody will be a witness of your testimony. If your amen is the loudest, you will receive what you're looking for. You will receive the answer you desire. Somebody hear from me. It's about time. It's about your season. It's about time. God sent me to declare. I am interested in your matter. Somebody hello. Somebody hello. Ah! came in the volume of the book I came with fire and thunder in my mouth I came with praise I came with anointing I came with oil oh you can't stop me now it's my time God will hear me I don't know what they said to you but I came to the clear God will hear you you are in your season somebody had life you will I feel God here I feel God far in this place I feel the house on here. The power of God is all about this building. Lives are changing. That studies are speaking out. Oh, the future is brighter now. Oh, here. Hannah was crying. Mm. The wicked. When you hear me cry, do not rejoice. I'm not crying as a failure. I'm crying as a victor in the making. You didn't hear me. Uh, the wicked when you see me agonize don't rejoice I, I, I'm not crying because I had failed I, I'm not crying because I've been victimized I'm crying because my miracle is on the way I'm crying because my testimony is bigger than the sorrows that I saw for the Egyptians that I saw yesterday and the ones that I see now I shall see them again no more I don't know about you but I shall see them again no more I don't know about you but I shall see them again no more 
Let me tell you, neighbors, I shall see them again. No more. Uh, come and talk to your neighbor. Uh, uh, like I'm saying it. Uh, uh, said the Egyptians that I saw uh, uh, before. Uh, I shall see them again. Uh, no more. Uh, help me tell a believer uh, that I'm crying. Uh, not as a loser. Uh, but as one who knows uh, that my God is able. Uh, I know uh, that my God is able. Uh, I'm crying unto God uh, who is able. Uh, I'm not crying unto him. Uh, I'm crying unto my maker. Help me tell my maker that I am grateful. For I know that this is the time of answer. Wherever you see me, there's a sign and a mark that that ground is a ground for lifting. Don't tell me about where I am. There is something I know about God. A child of God. Can I talk to you now? Even for one minute before I push it more. Child of God hear me Hannah cried oh yeah 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 Hannah cried the Bible declared that her womb was shut up some some translation when I went to the original meaning of the Hebrew word from where the, the closure of her womb came from I discovered that in Hebrew tongue it means that her womb was locked it was locked now, ladies and gentlemen, if it is in our time, you can lock a thing without a key. Now, it was locked, but the key is somewhere. I came to talk to folks whose destinies look like it was locked. Whose success in life looks like it's locked. Whose future looks like it's locked. I came to talk to those folks in this meeting. I came to talk to those believers in this house. I don't know who locked your destiny. I don't know who blocked your success. I don't know who is sitting on your promotion. I don't know who seized your file. I don't know who locked your file. I don't know who locked the success of your business. Can I preach it like I feel it? Can I say it like I say it? Can I declare it like God is asking me to? I don't know who locked your womb. I don't know who stopped your tight bell. I don't know who stopped your marriage. I don't know who stopped your success. But I came for you. I came. I came. I came. I came as an instrument of God. I came as a carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of talking to I came as an instrument of honor. I came as a divine machinery. I came as a hand of God to my generation. I came as a help to destinies. I came as a solution in my space. I came as one anointed with grace, grace with divine oil. I came. I feel like preaching it now. Don't mind me. I'm trying to behave. Don't mind me. I'm trying to hold myself but he will not let me i tell it here it's all over me now oh god is in this place the power of god is in this house when he steps into your matter i feel it here i feel it here it's all over me now her womb was locked oh yeah oh yeah her womb was locked but shall i say this to you uh, 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 the womb was locked but somebody has the key yeah. there's a God that has the key yeah. I wanted to be sure he has the key I made a research in the Bible and my Bible said that Jesus declared after that he defeated the devil he said the keys has been given unto me the key of El Malabusha the key is I don't know wherever the devil kept what belonged to you the key of this that place has been handed over to him he said the key the key the key the key uh, the key has been given to him and he declared to me when I, I, I became afraid I said the key was given to him and he has gone he is not physically on earth anymore he's gone to be with the father and he's sending us the Holy Ghost but I discovered something the Bible said as many that believe he gave them power 
and that power is the key and he said he gave them the power to be called the sons of God and every son of God has the ability to set a captive free and has ability to open a locked door and when he was going he said because I give you the key he said whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven another word is that whatever you lock on earth is locked in heaven as if that was not enough I read my bible he called me to do I answered away he said whatever you lose on earth that is whatever you open whatever you open whatever you open don't mind me when I preach the bible don't mind me when I talk the word of God don't kill me don't be jealous of me I know my bible he called me to do I answered away he called me again he said to do I answered always don't torture me it's all over me here I said away and he said to me whatever whatever I say father remember you are God whatever you say is like that for the Bible declared what what his words they are set in heaven I said what kind of settle he, he says Oh yeah, hold on now. They are settled in heaven before the foundation of the earth. And Dr. Nadu came standing upon the settled of God. For what he has done, I will do. That oh I came. He settled and I am settling. Oh, if you can't understand me, ask your neighbor. If you don't understand what I'm saying, ask your neighbor. Somebody is there to help you. Somebody will explain to you. The Bible declared that his words, they are settled in heaven before the foundation of the earth. That is to say before the earth came into existence, settle has been in existence. Oh wait! Oh, I'm not gonna know they call me. If you call me, I go answer. Yeah. So uh, that means before the act came into existence, uh, uh, settle has been in existence. Oh, oh come on now and, and hear what he said. He said his words they are settled. Eh? Before before the foundation of the earth do you know the foundation of the earth can i tell you the foundation of the earth i will tell you bible shall i remind you that the earth has no physical foundation the earth is suspended upon his word but the bible said that his words are settled in heaven they are settled in heaven before the foundation of the earth then where is the foundation of the earth if the earth has no physical foundation then the bible talked about the foundation of the earth then where is the foundation of the earth somebody said tell me bible now the foundation of the earth the earth has foundation but not the foundation that you can see when was the earth found and what is the foundation of the earth the foundation of the earth was the very moment God conceived the idea of bringing the earth to be when God conceived it the conception of the earth in the heart of God becomes the foundation of the earth when he conceived to bring the earth into existence that is the foundation of the earth that is to say before God conceived the existence of the earth his words have been settled oh wait oh you hear me so before the foundation of the earth his words are settled 
his words are settled and he now talks to me he said oh, his words are settled and we are he said in heaven and where did Jesus go to in heaven and when he was going what did he tell me he said to me oh, as I am in heaven so are you in this world oh wait oh wait me gonna need to call me i got work to do i got work to do so hear me now when when he said to me whatever you bind on that is bound in heaven be careful be careful about any talking i do child because what you believe works for you you believe in settle isn't it so when you settle it works because I, I serve the God that has been settling he started settling even before time began he started settling even before the foundation of the earth and I came here you said I should not settle if I don't settle why, how will I do like my father ah, how can I be a lion a child and you want me to behave like a goat I will behave like my father and he said whatever he, he said whatever so I should be careful what I bind he said whatever you bound on earth whatever you tie on earth whatever you lock on earth is locked in heaven when he told me that whatever I lock on earth is locked in heaven whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven I wanted to know how God how do you mean until I saw a prophet declare before Ahab and said to Ahab there shall be no rain in this land except I say so and my Bible said that the heaven ceased there was no rain why it was locked in heaven because a prophet locked it here and hold on how do I know that it was because the prophet locked it that heaven locked it I will tell you when God made up his mind to send the rain God cannot send the rain because a prophet locked it and it was locked in heaven God located the prophet and said prophet please I want to do something and the prophet said God what could that be God said I want to send rain but I want you to go and open it because except you open it it cannot open because you bound it and it was bound in heaven because you tied it and it was tied in heaven now that i want to lose it please go and lose it because except you lose it i cannot lose it so when he told me when he told me that whatever you lose on earth is loosed in heaven I began to wonder God what do you mean do you know what God will always do eh? what he doesn't want me to lock he will do everything for me not to lock it if I make a mistake and lock it heaven will lock it God understands the system it doesn't matter who you are if you hear settle on your head settle is settle I prove it to you one more time and I release you to go. You read your Bible. There was a case of a man called Balaam and in the case of Balaam and Balak they wanted to cause the nation of Israel God's own people they built the altar, prepared the altar God said no. If I leave them to cause, the cause will, be, will hold the only thing I'm going to do is I will change them I would change their conk. Instead of cursing, they will be blessed. God have to appear himself and said to the prophet, if you go there, don't curse them. Instead of curse, turn it to blessing. Because if you curse them, there is nothing anybody can do. You didn't hear me. So the, the best thing God will do for you is that God will change the language. Because he, God, is aware that if we bind it here, brother, no case is bound in heaven. God had to change it and turn it to blessing. And he climbed there. Instead of cursing, he began to bless. And as he was blessing, he was losing. And whatever you lose on earth is lost in heaven.
stretch your hands to me wherever you are. You can just sit down and stretch your hands. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands now. Stretch your hands. I'm looking for something. Are you looking for something? What you need today is for me to lose it here. And when I lose it here, it is lose in heaven. Anybody going to appeal your case in heaven will be making a mistake. Because once it is loosed here, it is loosed in heaven. Have I proven it to you now? That once you lose it here, it is loosed in heaven. Huh? Have I proven it to you now? Listen to me now. God has power. God is the God that has all the powers. But here on earth, he must use his own to do the work. On Saul's way to Damascus, he met Jesus. Jesus said to, to him, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But because Jesus appeared to him, no eye that see God will live. And because Jesus wanted to appear to him, the best thing Jesus would do to him was to strike him with blindness so that he doesn't see him. Because there is work that God has for him. So he was struck with, with blindness and the Bible said Jesus met him and introduced himself to him and said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Because as at that time, it was the time that Jesus shouldn't come because the Holy Ghost had come. If Jesus should show up at that time, now there will be a conflict. It's just like anybody telling you today that I saw a vision and I saw Jesus Christ. It's a lie. You can't see Jesus in a vision because this is not the time of Jesus. The only thing you can see is either you see me in your dream, which I represent the... That is the Bible. That is the Bible. Don't, don't, don't get angry with me. I know my Bible. From wherever you hear the sound of my voice, don't get angry with me. I know my Bible. I know my Bible. I know my Bible. I know my Bible. I know what the word says. I know what it declares. Don't get angry with me. That's the word of God. Let me put it better before your heart jumps out of you. I talk when I do now hear me i said you can see jesus in your vision but you can see me in your vision you can see jesus in your dream now because the age we are in is a prophetic age this is a prophetic dispensation this is a time when the prophecy and the prophetic is in charge that is why every man called of God you don't need to be a prophet to dwell in the time of the prophetic because the time in which we live is a prophetic season every preacher of the world must carry prophecy in their mouth you if not you will not be relevant in your space because this is the prophetic age and that is why prophets now are the people who are criticized the most because this is a prophetic time today you hear of fake prophets but you don't hear of fake teachers there are fake teachers which is even worse than prophecy because a fake teacher will lead many people astray there are people who preach the bible out of context who teach the bible out of context Context. They are fake pastors, but nobody is talking about fake pastors because this is not the pastor season. There are fake teachers. Nobody is talking about fake teachers because this is not their time. There are fake evangelists. Nobody is talking about them because this is not their time. There are fake apostles. There are fake, 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 fake. But ladies and gentlemen, but because it is a prophetic season everybody is talking about fake prophet because every pastor that must operate in this age and season you must carry prophecy in your mouth to carry prophecy does not mean that you must see anything or you must hear anything the word of God itself is prophecy <laughs> Every time you preach the Bible, 
Bible, you are prophesying. Anytime you teach the Bible, you are prophesying. And this is the prophetic age. And how do you know that I am prophesying? The book I carry is a book of prophecy. The Bible that I preach is a word of God. And how did it come? Nobody saw God to receive words from him. But they are all written by men. But through the inspiration, by the inspired inspiration of the Holy Ghost. And what is that? Prophecy. The man that wrote the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, they were written by Moses. Moses wrote the book of Genesis, but Moses was born in Exodus. But he wrote Genesis. And in the book of Genesis, Moses wrote, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Eh? Where was Moses? He was not there. How did he know? Somebody had a prophecy. So from the time you open the Bible, the Bible started with prophecy because the book of Genesis, there was no name mentioned in Genesis that Moses saw. Nobody that was mentioned in the book of Genesis that Moses saw. Moses did not see their great great grandchildren to 10th generation. He didn't see, he didn't know them. The names that were mentioned in Genesis, Moses didn't know any of them. But he was writing the book of Genesis. As a matter of fact, the Bible told us the time Moses was born. Moses was born during the, during the time the people of Israel had gone into captivity. Do you know how many years of creation before Israel started yesterday? Come on now. Have you people forgotten the story of Israel? That Israel came about through Jacob? That is, someone wanted to kill the other day and he ran away. You fool, we are there now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. So, look at the story of yesterday. But he was talking about the foundation. He was talking about the beginning. He was not there in the beginning. But he wrote about the beginning. Then who would have told him? Somebody, Hala God. The Bible started with prophecy. Genesis everything in the book of genesis was born out of prophecy and the bible ended with prophecy the book of revelation was all about prophecy he said to john the things which had happened the things which are happening and the things which will yet happen right and what is it called? Prophecy. So, the Bible started with prophecy and they ended with prophecy. And in our generation, you say you don't like prophecy. If you don't like prophecy, you will not live here. I owe no apology to nobody. I know my Bible. And now, hear me. How do I know that this is the last age? I know that this is the last age because all the ages had come and gone. There was season and time of teachers. That was during the time when teachers were reigning. When teachers of the gospel were the highest in the world. There was a time in this nation people were gathering to hear people teach. During the time of Christ, people were not gathering for prophecy. People were gathering for teaching. But that's why the Bible declared that Jesus went to the temple at age 12. He was teaching and answering questions. Today, if you are only teaching and answering questions without prophecy in your mouth, this is not your age. This is not your age. You will have blame me somehow. I feel one kind of there was a time and the season when evangelists evangelistic ministry was at the top gear during the season and the time of evangelists because that time was the time and the season of evangelists but today there are still evangelists but they are lying low because you must be a prophetic evangelist for you to obtain favor now can i can i can i talk some more 
Oh, you're not hear me. I wanted to an answer you something before before I began to go deeper. Uh, let me not go too deep now. Listen, I said that if you want to have any vision now, you can have vision of me. Uh, yes, and you can have vision of me, and uh, you can have uh, 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 no vision of Jesus. You can't see Jesus now. If you're expecting to see Jesus, when you call Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, you can look around in that your dream and see talking to do. But you are back on the Jesus, but you are seeing talking to do why uh, as he is in heaven, uh, so am I in this world. Uh, and, and hear me now, uh, uh, you can cry, uh, and then you will see God sending any messenger by the name of a messenger. You can see an angel in your vision. You can see an angel in your vision. You can see Jesus. Because this is the time and the season of the Holy Ghost. And nobody can see the Holy Ghost. Because he is a spirit. So when he wants to appear, he will appear with my face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you can't see the Holy Ghost. He's a spirit. You can't see him. When he wants to appear, he will appear with the face of any pastor here. He will appear with the face of any messenger that is walking with him. When that person comes, the person will rescue you from trouble. And that's what you're looking for. The person will rescue you. But not that person. God is coming with the face of that person. I think, I think your heart can be at peace now. Your heart can be at peace now. What? you bind on it is bound in heaven whatever you lose on it is loosed in heaven and he was talking to me he said if you lose it here it's loosed in heaven if you bind it here it's bound in heaven and hear me now those who came before me they lose the here and heaven confirmed it as though that was not enough when he was sending his disciples you know what he said to them the bible says he sent them in twos he sent them to cities and lands the bible said then he followed them confirming their words with signs and with wonders let me tell you now he will not send you to where he will not come so he sent me to Abba and I'm aware he's here Oh, hold on. Hold on now. Am I where he's here? How do I know he's here? He's waiting for me. Any moment from now. As he has said. He confirms it. He confirms it with signs. He confirms it with wonder. And people are angry. Thus yet the do do dunamis of heaven. Whatever you bound on earth is bound in heaven yeah. whatever you lose on earth is loosed in heaven yeah. from this moment henceforth this shall be your portion yeah. it shall be your portion yeah. it shall be your portion yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ I want to travel far. I hear God tell me something about Amanta in Ishiago. It's my father's compound. For divine solution and settlement. I want to shut the mouth of the wicked. Number one. In the family of Nana Oji. Yes, sir, my father. 
in Amanta in Ishago. I want to travel there now in the realm of the spirit with prophetic words from my mouth. As I'm going there now, prophecy is visiting your own village. Stepping into your own compound. Quenching the fire of the wicked. And bringing the solution you have long desired. What if I travel to Okokitem? You know a place called Okokitem? That's my village, sir. That's your village. Yes, sir. What if I tell the wicked now that your mouth will be shut for God's people to receive victory? How will you feel? Come on, somebody talk to me now. You'll feel good. Will you feel good? There is a seed that God planted in Okokitem. You came. Ask that seed. But something went wrong along the line. I want to beg you something. There is something about 1979. You know what I mean. I don't want to talk more. Yes, sir. I want to hold on to it now. Yes, sir. I want you to travel to Okokitem. Enter your father's compound. Yes, sir. There was something that stopped your brother that was living in one of these African countries. There was something he was supposed to receive in the land of Agri Coast. And he didn't get it. There was opportunity that he missed. Bible believing mission incorporated the dwelling place of the God of talking and truth. What the devil wanted to do to this boy when he was four years of age, the devil started battling him when he was four years of age, wanted to condemn and destroy his future. That battle the enemy has not stopped up until now. The devil is still fighting the future of that this boy. Knowing that this boy has a great future. You know him, sir? Your son. The hand of God is upon this boy. If God's hands was not upon him, this boy would not be walking today. He's not supposed to walk. He's not supposed to be here. As a matter of fact, he's not supposed to see with this eye good. The devil started battling his life to end him. The same battle! The devil is still fighting now to destabilize him and make him lose faith in himself and lose hope in himself. He came out now to drop his seed and God said I should tell him boy, don't lose faith in yourself. Don't lose hope in yourself. This is not the end of the road for you. I will direct you. I will tell you what to do. Where you want to go now, God doesn't want you to go there. He wants to keep you within. And you can still be within and go to school and be great. Everything you are dreaming of is to go to school. You will go to school. If you listen to me. The devil from today has failed in your matter. I speak as a carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokunadu. He has failed in the name of Jesus Christ. Relax.
Is there anybody upstairs that knows somebody called Eunice Oluchi? Son, do me a favor. Whatever it will take you to travel to Okokitem. Yes, sir. Travel to Okokitem between tomorrow and next. Enter your father's compound. Pack sound from there. Yes, that compound had eaten the sweat of people and yes, not allowed them to excel the way they should. Yes, Pick sound from there. Yes, Bring it here on Sunday. I want to stand upon the sound from your father's compound. And order you people's hands to open yes, sir. to receive favor and lifting. Amen. And it yes, will be done. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Do you know you must state very well? You know where they call Akabo? Akabo Ikeduru. Eh? Yes, sir. You know a place called Akabo Ikeduru? Yes, sir. Eba na alok, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Ana alok in Akabo in Ikeduru. Yes, sir. Enwuronyi my English name here will better. Oh, mo wa, sir. Oh, go wa. Yes, sir. Achoro mi igi je mo. Tokunadu family simbu amoma. Kaya ba shandala da yelebo shandala. Father, release the wind of glory. I had to most fear of miracle. Oh, you took over. now it is always wrong for those who were supposed to be in the front to be at the back yes, sir. I hear a question in the realm of the spirit and the question was so loud and clear and what is the question why will the children of Christiana be behind Jesus. and those who should be following them they are now following those ones I hear the Lord say to me change things yes. what is tomorrow yes. tomorrow is Friday yes, sir. from tomorrow it will start working in your family. Oh, thank you, Lord. Come, yes, you were born on a Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, you were sir. born on a Friday. Yes, sir. Ah! I hear God say to me now, fight it, declare it. From tomorrow, it will start happening. Amen. How can the children of Christiana? Who are supposed to be in the front now be at the back and those who should follow them it looks like they are following those ones it's an error everyone under the influence of my voice you will never follow who should follow you whatever was keeping you awake when you should be sleeping after today you will see that problem solved. You will see that need met. Lift your voice and holler. God will meet that need. God will solve that problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody holler settle. Holler settle. Holler it for the last time. Step in now. And I order that this solution will come. And it has to come now. Between now to the end of the year, 
and before your next birthday the Lord will bring that solution amongst the children of Christiana and I'm hearing Christiana Oji the Lord will bring that solution whatever is reducing them ceases to work from tomorrow and God told me that tomorrow being Friday and he just mentioned to me that you were born on a Friday and the date is 28 July yes sir 28th July yes sir you 23rd yes sir you 31st yes sir you 16th yes sir Odogu Karigo Odogu hold on hold on you know you know the issue now. This is 28th July. This is 23rd June. I, I said your own June. Her own July. Your own March. Eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, sir. I'm not learning. I don't want to call the other one to the hearing of others. Chief Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and I I step into your matter now and I say from tomorrow that which the enemy cooked that which was done by the wicked will not exist again are you here now are you here now my I hear God say to tell you from tomorrow everything that was tied in your family Amen. including the progress of men Jesus. and women it will start losing up from tomorrow. Amen. Somebody hala settle hala settle hala settle Exxon This person I'm seeing inside. Dickin Dennis. My father. Wokoy. Yes, sir. My late father. Seeing him inside. You didn't hear what I said from the first time. Sorry. Where did I say I'm seeing him? Inside. <laughs> okay, you were feeling one kind. But there is another person. There is an aspect that will confuse you. Do you know the aspect? No, sir. But for the fact that I put Dick in, you should know it's your father I'm talking about. Because the other one that is answering Dennis now eh, is not a Dick in. That one is Dennis Okechuku. Yes, sir. Where is he? Who is he to you? He's my brother. He lives in Calabar? Yes, sir. For, uh, do you, can you remember how long he has been living in Calabar? More than three years now. More than three years now he has been living. In, where was he living before? In Abba. And he moved? To Calabar. Which church was he attending when he was in Abba? Faith Tabernacle Church. Faith Tabernacle Church. Yes, and now that he's in Calabar, which church is he attending? He doesn't, he's not frequent there. He, he's not frequent with the church. Yes, sir. Do you believe that I can use you now as a point of contact to bring permanent help to your family and help him even in his own belief because he has suffered? Yes, sir. And he has not seen what he should see. Yes, sir. I 
I believe so. You believe yes, we can do that now? Yes, sir. And help him very quickly. Yes, sir. I believe you. Eh? Yes, sir. I do believe. Now, you have been calling people for help, and help has not been coming. Yes, sir. Listen, you are not where you should be. Yes, sir. A lot of things have drawn you back in life. It has taken a long time. You are in this chance. Beloved, take my matter serious now as I speak to you because you need it. Yes, Where you are coming from is too far. You are behind. Yes, sir. Am I saying the truth to you? Yes, sir. Where is the princess they used to call you? Where is the glamour with which you came into life as a child? As a child, where is that glamour? Look at you today. Look at you today. Look at where life has kept you. Look at how life has treated you. I hear the Lord say, change her story. Her story has been a bitter one. My dear, look at me. You know that time is not your friend. You don't have time. Is it true? No other person in this house will understand it like I understand it. Yes, sir. But with the few things I have said to you, you know I know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. And you know, you know one funny thing. Both of us were born in the same month. March, March. <laughs> hold on, hold on. God bless you. Eh? Is that? Yes, sir. Now. Relax your heart. Though it has tarried, but in this meeting today, I came with prophetic grace. Amen. If you can agree with me, I will change the satanic number and dating. Amen. I will renew what the wicked said cannot be renewed. Amen. But the word of prophecy, I can call you back into manifestation. Amen. Now it can yes, happen. Sir. Amen. I hear a number. That number is the number favor we call. Amen. I hear 080 34 94 09 59. That's my number, sir. That's the number favor we call. And I move from here. And I head straight to Calabar. Where I begin to call for another favor. To hit Oketuku. Mwokoye. And I also hear a number. And I hear 080. I hear 34. 68. 6118. You don't know that one. You may need to consult your phone to find out whose number that is. The one he's using now is eighty dollar. Like maybe his former number MTN. Good. I'll check. Go and check. Do you did you come with your phone? Do you have his numbers in your phone? The, the one I have is the new uh, the new number, but the the MTN ones I left it too. You but left it at home. Yes, sir. Where? You will find it out when you get home. Or oh, you mark the number. Somebody write it for her. Give it to her. Find out if it is the one. I said I hear 080. 3468. 6118. Oh, wait. Now hear this. Therefore, will stay. Into that 
family Amen. and correct a lot of things. Amen. And correct a lot of things. Amen. Every child that sucked the breast of grace. Yes, sir. My mother. Every child that sucked the breast of grace. Today, I pronounce a prophetic word of release. Amen. To all of you. Amen. You will never remain at the same level again. Amen. I sit in the place of my office. Yes, he said to Abraham, call those things that be not as though they were. Amen. And the Bible said as he called them forth, they came into existence. Amen. For Chioma Caroline, your mother to die now. It's too early. Please hold on. Come, come my daughter. Don't worry about what you have heard. That's why I called you here. What is happening now is what happened in the time of Jesus. Jesus was on his way when one of the leaders of the people came and told him that the daughter was sick by name Jairus. As Jesus was on his way to his house, Jesus was interrupted by the woman with the issue of blood. As Jesus was busy treating the case of the woman with the issue of blood, message came to the man that bothered the man of God no more. Your daughter is now dead. I was talking about her mother and something just happened, but it will not come from my mouth. But you know what? Help me touch your neighbor, say not here. Not when I was sitting on the matter. Not when I was handling the matter. Not here. Everyone in this house. That which made you cry before you came. You will not still cry when you live here. Receive it now. Receive it now. You will not still cry when you live here. You will not still cry when you live here. You will not still cry when you live here. You you live here. Hear me. If you live here and you get home and you see that what they told you is still like that, that anything has happened to your mother, know that I am not called of God. I sit in the place of my office now and I say it will not happen. Can I hear an amen like thunder here? I say it will not happen. Oh yeah, don't worry. You know what I'm about to do? When I do my hand like this, it is called settle. When I settle it here now, she will get up. Amen. What did I say? She will get up. Help me tell your neighbor, say, Toknadu came in person. I didn't send the representative. Now, now, not tomorrow. She will, what nonsense. Look at, look at. Who, who, who gave birth to Yiridia? Right here. It will not happen. She will get up. Two hours later, Yiridia will sleep. Anything anybody planned for you, that my prophecy is coming now. Anything anybody planned for you, there's something will happen to that person. Anything anybody is planning for you, there's something will happen to that person. This case is hereby. Bible believing mission incorporated the dwelling place of the God of Talk and Truth. Mama, do you know deep history about where you come from? 
Do you know anybody called Obuenyi? Yes, Obuenyi. My father. Eh? Think very well. My father. My father. That's what they told you. Yes, sir. Do you know anybody called Mosu? That place, do you know anybody called the Habat? Uh -huh. I started from your house where you were born. I went to where your mother. Do you know anybody called Catherine? Oh my mother. Oh yeah, hold on. Bring back the, the other person. Stretch your hands to me wherever you are. Just your hands like this. Every one of you in this meeting, I prophesy over your head. Every satanic weapon fighting your life and destiny today the hand of the Lord will scatter it. Let me hear you holler that amen loud and clear. Everybody in this house, stand up. You will pray now. All of us, you will leave your seat. You will walk around. And what is your prayer? You will repeat after me before you pray for yourself. Say, my father. From the time I was conceived. In the womb. Up until now. Anything fighting against me. Anything standing on my way. Today. Before the altar of the God of talk now do. Oh Lord, scatter it out of my way. Your prayer, pray it and move around. to scatter it. Pray the prayer as if your life depends on it. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. In Jesus much less name we have prayed. The hand of the Lord will come upon you. Whatever it is. The Lord will scatter it from now. Lift your voice and holler amen. Lift your voice and holler amen. Settle. 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 I settle the matter. 
I redeem the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar had eaten. Amen. I redeem it now. Amen. I redeem it now. Amen. My dear, were you born on a Friday? Yes, sir. Or you don't know? <laughs> you don't know? Uh -huh. Say you don't know. Don't, don't try to help me. Come, let me, let me ask you. Oh, yeah, call me talking to you. Hold on. There is nothing about you that he doesn't know. He know you to your intestines. It takes only a fool to say, I am hiding something from God. There is nothing you can hide from him. Before him, you are open and empty. Now, I redeem it. Amen. I turn it around. Amen. You will come to me with joy and gladness. Amen. You will share testimony Amen. that is mind boggling. Amen. Settle. Amen. Settle. Amen. Settle. Lord bless you. Where is Apano? Eat him. Apano eat him. That's my village. That's your village. How can it be your village and then the wickedness from the same village tied you to a stake? Kept you standing still and said they will not allow you to move to anywhere. You struggle, you've traveled. I hear God say to me, don't let Emmanuel go the same way he came. Is Emmanuel your name, sir? I'm um, Emmanuel. He said, don't let him go the same way he came. The devil wants to waste your life. And the sacrifice was made in Apani That they will not let you amount to anything in life. You know him? Your uncle. They don't want this man to marry. I've tried so much. They want him to die without a child. He's struggling in Togo. Do you live in Togo? Yes, sir. He's struggling. Laboring. Nothing is working again. Can I help you, sir? Yes, sir. I carry double letter quelle. Hey, Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and Truth. Are you hearing what I'm saying to him? By the time I will step into a shoe state now. Things he can offer wicked sacrifice that will affect the destiny of a young man. He has done it to many and he has gone free. But I will deal with him now because of him. Sir, I carry 
the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokunadu. I want to put the enemy to shame. Amen. The wicked said, he will not allow you to settle. Right now, even in Togo, you are like a flying bed that is not perching anywhere. That is true. Because there is no settling ground for you now. The truth of the matter is that even if you should leave this place to go now, you are not going back to Togo to do anything tangible. Except there is a prophetic declaration over your head like it's coming now. If not, you are not going to Togo to do anything. You are like a man that is stranded. And the wickedness of the wicked made it so. So that you will hold nothing and be nothing. But I live here now as I travel to Apan Item. And I speak as an oracle of God. As I say that what they have done, I cancel it now. Amen. And it ceases to exist from now. Amen. I will let you get there. The same way they don't want him to have a wife and settle down, they don't want you to have a wife too. I live here as I travel to your village in Oshun State. And I speak by the authority of God over my life. And I said the wickedness of the wicked that was hanging on your head there. Six weeks to eight weeks from now. Amen. From next week, it's a dawn of a new day for you. Amen. The Lord will open doors. That you never expected he will open. Amen. He will give you favor. That will be like an embarrassment. Amen. But it's going to be a pleasant embarrassment. Amen. That shall be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Or guys, you return back to Togo now. It will not be like before. Amen. Get ready and marry. Amen. Tokunadu, I'm releasing you to go and marry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's done. Amen. I hear Oparaji. The Lord is just taking me here, there, here, there. What a God he is. Who is John Oparaji? wicked invocation Oza phone ah here change here. Ah? Happen um I like him aku ine ba chom melody. Kwa mo jroge. Oge gbara mu. Ah happen um Israel. Joge John. Owo na mama gi Israel. But onyem jroge say yawo John. Kam gba zie gi hige je ma na ma him na me. Phone Harper or John, phone number ya the Oga who is zero seven zero three four six four five four four three. Oh, no. Oh, number ya. You put on my hymn name, go happen come to war. Metumaka, Metumaka. Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Torkana. If somebody can go to a native doctor and give a native doctor money, the native doctor will do something, give you to put in your mouth, and you call somebody, and the person will hear your voice and die. What will an oracle like me do? Doctor, the problem of the church is 
that we don't know what we have. The problem of the church is that we don't make use of what we have. If a native doctor can sit somewhere, prepare something, give somebody, say, rub it in your tongue. Let him just hear your voice. And somebody will die. Look at my sister shedding tears. And she's shedding tears because of John that I asked her. All the while we've been talking, she didn't cry. But you know that this one touched her. Oh, come on now. This one touched her. But listen to me now. If there is a wicked one to do that, what should an oracle do? I said to you, leave this battle. Tell every hater of your life that Tokunadu is coming. One of these days, I will meet them at the junction. And they will not escape. The one who made that thing, the one who called him all of them between now and three hours time they will go to where they sent him Amen. since it is done by the same person not at the same line let them carry what they have done Amen. this case this case how many days did I say? Three hours. Eh? In the three hours. Do you believe in my calling? But if whether you believe or not, it will happen. Because I've made up my mind to fight this one. I've made up my mind. This case is hereby set. Set. just told me that there are a lot of wicked people at that Akabo. God just told me there were a lot of wicked people at that Akabo. Nahane wounded mad too much. Nahane destroy a lot of destinies. A lot of young men and young women in Dohani. That a lot of people now to go Lola. That many people from Akabo don't go home. That's what God is just telling me now. And I want to say no now. I want to say no. Can I say no now? Talk to me. Can I say no now? Now! All the wicked people at a cowboy the Kedu who have ever had a hand in shedding of innocent blood who have ever had a hand in destruction of destinies and lives today from the altar of the God of Toknadu I send you a message your powers will fail you your powers will fail you I destroy the basket that is holding for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Church, hala amen. amen. Church, hala amen. amen. Church, hala amen. amen. You know what God just told me? Awesome baggy. Na Monday. Very early in the morning. Ikulie no tutu. After your morning prayers, take up a glass of water, drink it, and say, Fresh life. Monday will mark beginning of new day in your yeah. life. You were born on a Monday. Yes, sir. Monday will mark beginning of new things in your life. Amen. Do what I have said. Thank you, sir. Do what I have said. Thank you, sir. God will answer you. Thank you, sir.
as I look at your faces, anybody that wants to close you up in life, that person has failed. Anybody that wants to close you up in life, that person has failed. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you will have a good news. I said you will have a good news. I said you will have a good news. I said you will have a good news. Favor will reach you. Amen. Favor will reach your family. Amen. God will take away pains from you. Amen. He will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. God will answer your family and bring solution. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will confirm his words over the head of your family. Amen. And nothing shall stop the hand of God over your head. Amen. Somebody holler amen if you will. Son, where are you born on a Sunday? I'm asking you. <laughs> you don't know the day you were born. <laughs> you just came into the world. God said to me, you were born on a Sunday. So by Sunday, as you are coming, come with what I asked you to bring. Now I know why God said I should ask you to come with it on Sunday. Come with it on Sunday. I will confirm the prophecy over your head on Sunday. Because what you don't know, God knows. Everyone targeting you to go down. That person will go down and not you. Anybody targeting you to be frustrated in life. That person will be frustrated and not you. That person will go down and not you. That person will go down and not you. Lift your voice and holla. There is a prophecy I want to release over your head now that will carry speed. In the next one hour, 30 minutes, anyone who dig a pit for you will fall into it. Anybody who dug a pit for you will fall into it. In the next one hour, 30 minutes, anyone who dug a pit for you will fall into that pit. Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of talking and truth. Rejoice. God will soon remember you. He said, I should tell you that your season of remembrance is close in the name of Jesus Christ sickness will not claim your life the enemy sent it but God said I should tell you that sickness will die inside you now I come with grace I come with anointing with the power of the immediate that sickness will die in you the sickness will not kill you. The sickness will die for you. Lift your voice and holler, amen. amen. The hand of the Lord will come upon you. Amen. The Lord will heal you now. Amen. And deliver you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. Yes, they have made the arrangements and they have done what they want to do. But it will not happen in your life. I sit in the place of my office. I said, Dibye Goroya, in the next four hours, oh God, settle. 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 I speak into your life now. Favor is inevitable. Sir, you know me. Come close and let me speak for you. 
This is a simple conspiracy. Somebody desire your throne. Somebody is interested in collecting the king from you. He is the person masterminding everything that is happening in your community now. He do not want you to answer king again. He want to be the king. He has money. He is using money. You have God. Use power. Oh, wait. Wherever you are in this house, hear me as I prophesy. You will find favor where you need it. You will find grace where you need it. The mercies of God will speak for you. And you will hold your peace. You shall see generational blessings. 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 Lift your voice and holler. I want your family to receive help right now. I want your family, your family to receive help right now. Amen. Do you want your family to receive help? Yes, sir. What is tying your family down? I release it now. Amen. That it will not tie your family down again. Amen. What do you people call him? Is that what you call him? Obo. That's what you, they call him. It's not Obo. Eh? Ah, it's okay now. It's okay now. Hold your peace. Why do you say Obowo and uh, I'm hearing a Hitu bomb? Yes, sir. Are you from a Hitu bomb? Yes, sir. Every one of you, yes, sir. I speak into your life now. Yes, you will find help where you need it. Yes. The Lord will give you lasting testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your family receive help now. Amen. Receive solution now. Amen. Oya hala seto. Incorporated the dwelling place of the God of Talk and Truth.